talk about eukaryotic cell reproduction, and specifically we're going to talk, uh, begin our discussion with the cell cycle. So the life of a eukaryotic cell is something that actually, it doesn't spend most of its time in a reproductive state. The cell cycle is a, reprodu a repeating sequence of cellular growth and division during the life of an organism. The cell basically spends about 90% of its time in the first three phases of the cycle, which are collectively called interphase. Now there are five phases of the cell cycle. The first growth phase, or G1 phase. Now during the G1 phase, a cell grows rapidly and carries out its routine functions. So during this G1 stage, which is right here, this is our first stage. Synthesis is the second stage. Now this is where a cell's DNA is copied. So in this particular case, we have something called DNA synthesis. This is our second stage. Our third stage is something called the G2 phase or the second growth phase. Now in this particular phase, preparations are made for the nucleus to divide. So remember, we have our first stage, second stage, third stage. And this stage, all three of these stages put together are called interphase. So these are called interphase. Mitosis is the fourth stage of a cell cycle. This is the process during which cell, uh, during cell division in which the nucleus of a cell is divided into two nuclei and this is called mitosis. Now notice mitosis here is very, very tiny. It doesn't spend a whole lot of time in the mitosis phase. And cytokinesis, this is the fifth stage. This is the process during cell division in which the cytoplasm divides. Remember, it's called cytokinesis. So cytokinesis, again, very tiny. Now both mitosis and cytokinesis are put together in something called the mitotic phase. Now this represents what a cell goes through. This is the life of a cell or the cell cycle. Now there's a certain control of the cell cycle. The cell cycle has key checkpoints, also known as inspection points, at which feedback signals from the cell can trigger the next phase of the cell cycle. This is kind of like a green light. Other feedback signals can delay the next phase to allow for completion of the current phase. And this would almost be like a yellow or a red light. If, for example, there was something that happened in these particular phases that the cell knew um, at these checkpoints that weren't finished, then it wouldn't allow the continuation of the cell to replicate, either, let's say, replicate its DNA or grow bigger or something. These are the checks and the balances to make sure the cell is doing the right thing. Now, during these cell division checkpoints, let's see exactly sort of the questions that these checkpoints answer. So there's checkpoints at the end of the G1 phase, the G2 phase, and the M phase. Now these checkpoints determine whether or not the key cellular processes have occurred before moving on to the next step. So in the G1 phase, does the cell need to divide? That's a main question that the G1 checkpoint checks. In the G2 phase, remember down here, G2, right at the end of the G2 phase, was the DNA replicated properly? Were there any damages? Were the damages repaired? 
are all materials needed for mitosis present? That happens at the end of the G2 phase. Now at the M phase, right at the end of the M phase, so we're looking at this checkpoint right here, are the chromosomes aligned at the metaphase plate? Are the spindle fibers attached? So the M checkpoint really checks for the stuff that happens in the mitotic phase. Now, if unfortunately control is lost inside the cell at these checkpoints, then what is happening is something called cancer. Now, sometimes certain genes contain the information necessary to make the proteins that regulate cell growth and division. However, if one of these genes is mutated, the protein may not function and regulation of cell growth and division can be disrupted. If we have that protein malfunction, then what results is cancer, which is just an uncontrolled growth of a cell. So we hear a lot of cancer, lung cancer, cervical cancer, stomach cancer. These are all types of cancer where we have an uncontrolled growth of cells and what may result is a tumor.